Coming up, backbench rebellion in the parliament as some majority NPP MPs call on the president to sack Ken Oferiata and Charles Edubwahin from the finance ministry. We play back President Ekufado's explanation on why the finance minister should not be removed. Also in parliament, the minority side has filed a motion for the impeachment of the finance minister and called on the majority side to support it. Economist Kwame Pieni calls on Ghanaians to rally behind President Ekufado to drive the economy out of its current challenges. In Jolu, the police have arrested two persons related to last night's disturbances over a disputed land. Adwa suffered to no fate tomorrow on whether or not she can continue to be Dom Kwabinya MP. In politics, Asiedun Ketia launches NDC chairmanship campaign. And Graphic and Baby Kafo trains men on how to properly examine breasts to detect lumps. There is a backbench rebellion in parliament following the call by some majority new patriotic party members of parliament for the president to remove Ken Ufuriata as finance minister. They also want Charles Edubwahin, a minister of state at the finance ministry, to be also removed. Their reason is that this will help restore hope in the economy. And the Kwame Apia Kubi, the NPP MP for Asante Achim North, spoke on behalf of his colleagues. We have had occasions to defend allegations of conflicts of interest, lack of confidence, trust against the leadership of our finance ministry. The recent developments within our economy are of great concern to the greater majority of members of our caucus and our constituents. We have made our grave concern to the president through the parliamentary leadership and the leadership of the party without any positive response. We are by this medium communicating our strong desire that the president change the Minister of Finance and the Minister of State in the Finance Ministry without further delay in order to restore hope into the financial sector and reverse the downward trend in the growth of the economy. The summary of our concerns leads to a plea that the Minister of Finance, Honorable Kenneth Ufuriata, and the Minister of State at the Ministry of Finance, Honorable Charles Edubwahi, be removed from office. Meanwhile, President Okufado, during his tour of the Ashanti region last week, responded to a similar call for the Finance Minister to be sacked. We play back the President's response. This same man was able to manage the affairs of our economy in such a way, sir. The first three, four, in fact, four years, of my, the four years of my first term, we were one of the fastest growing economies in the world, an average growth rate of 7% a year from the beginnings of an IMF program. We were under an IMF program right until 2019. But this man was able to organize the management of our economy in such a way that not only were we able to roll out all these programs, in that first year and subsequent years. But our economy's growth was spectacular. So somebody who has been able to do that, why would I say that? I, how do I do that? How do I do that? What, what would be the basis? What is the rationale? Also in the parliament today, the minority leader, Harun Idrisu, filed a motion for the Minister of Finance to be removed from office. The minority side has asked for support from the opposite side for more MPs to join them to be able to garner the two-third majority of at least 183 MPs needed to push for the Finance Minister's removal. Yesterday at the Business Committee, Mr. Speaker, I had called to serve notice to the majority leader and chairman of the Business Committee that I will lead my side to file a motion for the removal of the Minister for Finance. To put it properly, I indicated strongly to him that as a matter of agency, the Honorable Minister for Finance and the Governor of Bank of Ghana will have to appear before this House, Mr. Speaker, urgently to explain to us the steps they are taking to save this economy, to save businesses, particularly with the unacceptable and continuous epileptic fall of the city, which has increased the cost of doing business. 
Meanwhile, economist and statesman Kwame Pieni has called on Ghanaians to rally behind the president and his government to drive the economy out of its current challenges. He explained that with the same zeal adopted to fight the coronavirus pandemic, the government will be able to navigate its way around the challenges and build a resilient economy that could support businesses and the citizenry in general. Mr. Kwame Pienim, who was speaking at the 25th anniversary lecture and dinner of the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission in Accra on Monday, stated that it will also require seriousness and determination necessary on the side of the government to secure an international monetary fund program by December this year. This, he said, would help attract investors who will inject foreign exchange and curb the fast depreciation of the city against the major international currencies. Mr. Pianim observed that the country must work together to help salvage the situation which was fast bringing the economy to its knees. All of us have a stake in our macroeconomic environment and the problem we have now all of us must put our hands together and follow the leadership of the president to own the crisis and to provide leadership in the same way he provided leadership to fight COVID-19. And so, we are all praying that the president will put on his COVID-19 boxing gloves to lead the country out of the current economic challenges, he said. In Jolina Accra, the police has arrested two persons related to last night's disturbances over a disputed land. A man was injured and a vehicle burnt during the land dispute Monday evening at Jowulu in Accra. A video of what appears to be the aftermath of a chaotic scene, which has been widely circulated on social media, shows a Toyota Land Cruiser vehicle on fire with one of its tires in a gutter. The video also shows the unidentified man lying in the middle of the street who moves during the video. The police in an update issued today named the two suspects as Nana Ousu Banahini and James Kwenu. They are said to have allegedly organized some tax with an excavator to demolish a four-bedroom apartment building at Jowulu. Before the demolition, the suspects and their accomplices attacked the occupants of the house. The police responded to restore calm. The perpetrators, upon seeing the police, abandoned the excavator and escaped from the scene. Police later had information that one of the vehicles belonging to the suspect had run into a ditch and was attacked by a mob who pelted them with stones, injured one of the suspects, that is James Quenu, and set his car ablaze. Police proceeded to the place and together with personnel from the fire service, the fire was extinguished. The injured suspect is at a hospital receiving medical attention. Meanwhile, investigation has so far revealed that no one was shot during the incident. Efforts are underway to arrest all other perpetrators to face justice. We need Ghana. Fire service, oh. I need fire service, oh. I need fire service, oh. I need, I need fire service. That person is not dead, though. That person is not dead, though. Fire, Ghana fire. Hey, Central Jowulu. They are costing you. And again in Parliament, the Speaker will give his ruling on the fate of the MP for Dom Kwabinya, Sarah Adras Safo, on Wednesday. The ruling will determine whether she can continue to hold on to the seat or lose it, given her absence from the House for more than 15 sittings during the previous meeting. And in politics, Johnson Asiedun Ketia, the current General Secretary of the Position National Democratic Congress, today launched his campaign to lead the NDC as National Chairman. I have therefore decided to run for the position of National Chairman of the NDC in the upcoming National Executive Relations slated for December 2022. I have not taken this decision lightly. I have weighed all the possible scenarios and concluded that the experiences garnered over the years will prove very useful in our forward march as a party. The order of business before us, both in the immediate and distant future, which includes dislodging the obnoxious MPP government led by Akufuado and halting the precipitous collapse of our country, means that we need to marshal our very best 
Arsenal. Once again, I am John Senasie Dunkatia. Your own courageous, fearless, honest, experienced servant, General Mosquito. Vote for me as the national chairman of the NDC come December 2022. The Christian Council of Ghana today presented an action plan on their commitment to fight against illegal mining to the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Samuel Abu Jinapo. Led by the Chairman of the Council, Right Reverend Professor Joseph Obri Amante, the action plan is to pledge their unflinching support to the fight against illegal mining and also to collaborate with the Minister in his quest to bring the Kanka to a halt. Please. We present to you this uh, a copy of our press release for you to please uh, assimilate it and uh, look at where our hearts are. We beg you from the depths of our hearts that help that and we also help you to make sure that our say is exercised from this society because it's an evil country. Everything is recorded here and so we present it to you in the name of God Almighty. And before we go, Graphic Communications Group Limited, in partnership with the Baby Kafo non governmental organization today, offered training to men on how to properly examine breasts to determine lumps, address myths and misconceptions around the breast. Lumps, you don't feel it in the breast. You actually feel it in the tail. And sometimes it actually goes into the armpit. So when you do all this, and you finish, you press the nipple and the tail and the areola, you go to the tail, this is what you tail. You do a breast, yes. And then you mean check. If she feels good, there. Or you see some lamp, let her go check. The tail. The tail. Okay, we call it the tail of the breast. Some people miss it. So they do just the breast. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I am Juliet Echan Safo. Thank you for watching.